Frizio, bedtime. Oh, but I'm not sleepy. Gotta get some sleep. We got a big day tomorrow. Well, how about you read me one more bedtime story? Please, Dylan. Okay, just one more, and then it's good night, Frizio. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I brushed my teeth, and let me just get nice and cozy here in bed. Mm. Ah, oh, this feels nice. Okay, what's tonight's story about, Dylan? Tonight's story I call The Lucky Squirrel. Oh, good. I, I love squirrels. They're so fun. They climb trees and they eat nuts and everything. Okay, go ahead with the story. There once was a squirrel named Marty who was a little self-conscious because his tail was shorter than all the other squirrels in the park. Oh, I know what it's like to be different, too. There, there aren't a lot of people like me who are purple out there, you know? So I'm different, different from some other people I know. His mom and dad told him it's okay to be a little different. That's what makes the world special. But the next day, at squirrel school, a group of boy squirrels began laughing and making fun of Marty, causing him to cry. Oh, those sound like bullies. I don't like bullies. No, no, no. As Marty set off to the side feeling sorry for himself, the cutest girl in school, Amanda, approached him. Did you come to laugh at me too? Marty asked. No, of course not. I came to see how you're doing and to tell you I think your tail is kind of cute. Really? You're not just playing a prank? Oh, I hope she's not going to hurt him. I promise. All those other boys are the same. Mean. But you're different. Special. Would you like to have lunch with me? Marty wiped the tears from his eyes, a smile on his face, and he held her hand. It's a date. The end. Wow! So it really is okay to be different, isn't it? Of course it is. Just be yourself and be happy and live your life and uh, good things are going to come to you. Now, time for bed. Oh, one more story. Please, 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 please. Good night, physio. I'm not even...